Welcome back to the channel. So tonight I've come out with Night Owl Paranormal and Gino and we've come to what has been said to be an extremely active poltergeist house. The last family that actually lived here fled during the night because of the paranormal activity. Poltergeist activity that was going on in here supposedly. So apparently inside the kitchen there's loads of stuff all over the place. There's knives on the floor, there's knives stuck in doors, loads and loads of like weird stuff going on inside here. So we decided to come out tonight, check it out, do an investigation and I'm going to put a little bit of a twist to this one. Call me crazy or not, I'm going to pull all the knives out and put them on the side. I'm just going to call out and see if anything's here, any poltergeist, if they can move the knives, move them around, fling them around, do whatever they want. I'm going to try and capture it all on camera here tonight. It's going to be an absolute crazy one this. Yeah, I'm going to go meet the others, head on in, have a look inside this place. So the entrance is around here, not this door. Looks like they've already managed to get in. Straight away, straight away, we've got a knife stuck in the door. Was that due to poor guys or is that just due to random kids? I do not know. And that's Chris, we've got Gino with us and we've got Shaz as well. But yeah, apparently all this mess is actually what got made the night the family left and all oh, the drawer cupboards were opening, slamming, you name it, it was all kicking off in here. But in here got a few knives as well. So I am going to move the knives. I'm going to put the knives on the side. Just like that. And we're going to do a bit of an experiment and see if anything can move them tonight. Okay. That was weird. So take a little look around the place. Just show you the layout of the building. How are you feeling in there so far? I've heard it. Heard it. Mate, I walked through and I'm just trembling. Trembling, shivering. We heard a growl. A growl. A growl. Which was it? Which you know? Yeah. She was just turning around. She winked at me. I said, "Did you hear that?" No Literally. way. Yeah. I've just been in that kitchen. She's on the Apparently, everything that's in the kitchen. Do I call the plates out on the floor? Yeah. That all happened the night the family had to flee this house. Wow. Because of the whole activity in there. And it was just ripping all the doors open, slamming doors. Yeah. In the kitchen, all the like plates and stuff, and yeah. swinging all the plates off the side. So that's yeah. the story with this one. Right. But yeah, you get set up. I'm gonna go for a little walk upstairs. Yeah. Just yeah. have a look Just looks like a classic horror house. You might be able to hear my breathing in there. It's coming up the stairs. It's a different atmosphere altogether. It's heavy, very heavy. I don't know 
to let me view the footage. What have we got here? Something to do with computers. So this could have been like an office space. Yeah, let's power on. That sounds like somebody walking in front of me then. Whoa! And again, shh! Right, I know you can hear the others talking downstairs, but that sounds like somebody was walking towards me. Right, that was a genuine sound of somebody walking on the floor and walking towards where I was. I've just been stood there where you are, stood a bit further back. Right? I just and stood it, there then. Seriously, it's colder than air, but I heard like somebody's walking towards genuinely somebody walking towards me. I, I don't feel lucky in here, mate. I've got butterflies as soon as I come and I stood here. Start with butterflies. See, as soon as I was walking feels, upstairs. As soon as I started walking upstairs, I was feeling like I couldn't breathe properly. The atmosphere is so heavy up here. Yeah, it's, you can feel it up here, definitely. Something's happened there way before mm. that family who left. You can just, you can feel it, you can, feel it you can just feel it. I'm mm. just going to crack on, do. I mean, I've got the attic actually, right? the attic's wide. There's an attic there and there's an attic through the other way as well. Can't begin to stress how heavy it feels in here for all you guys who have been watching. It was here. Cut look at that, it's like somebody's been beheaded. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like. <laughs> look at the scratch marks on the roof, mate. No way. What the hell? That's a crazy one, that bridge, yeah. As you can see, you, you're looking at that. What we've got in the bin? If you look, Nothing. You it looks like a knife in someone's hand and a head, as though someone's been headed. Yes, I see what you mean. Yeah. I see exactly see? what you mean. That's like someone. Someone there, knife. beheaded. Yeah. And a knife. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing there, Mark, so I don't know about you. I'm seeing it. Now you mentioned it, I'm seeing it. I must tell you, Pal, I'm always the one who looked for any logical explanation. Yeah. And how I felt just then coming into that bedroom where you were. You were. It was weird oh, that. We heard growling. It was weird because I walked up, went into the side room, come out, went to walk in that room, and I heard like somebody was walking towards me. Yeah. Went in, then you come up and you said you felt that, and it was icy cold. Well, the crazy thing was, well. Oxley, because I've come to come upstairs, the curtains behind the door were moving. So I've moved them to have a look. There's a separate, it's like a vestibule. Oh yeah. But all that's boarded up, but the curtain was moving at uh, that side of the door, not the one at the right hand curtain, the left hand curtain in front of the door, it was moving. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I come up, I thought you'd just literally walk past. How odd's this? For a bedroom, this is... Mm. The old tiles up there, both Yeah, I mean... Well, you've got a built in sink in that. Yeah. Um, but no, that, that's normal in all the buildings, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, we, we had them in our house, but I took them out and I put boards in. So right, yeah. To put in doors in. But, yeah. It's the first time I've come across that. Oh, there's stuff up there. Right, look at look, look at the tub that's there. I'm looking now. Yeah. Right, see it? Yeah. I wonder if that's got anything to do with what's happened there. Cop day. It's speculation, but that's what yeah. we're here for. I've got a second box left. Right, so now we call him two. I'll just see if we go. Can see anything up here. You won't believe this. What? You know, in the kitchen. Yeah. You know that um, like bottle opener. Yeah. Shaking. Have you got it? I've got it on the camera. Yeah. What do you reckon? Do you know how does it feel up there? Don't feel nice. It's See? that luggage container there. Yeah. It's just. It's the minute I've laid eyes on that, I was just drawn straight to it. There's the pictures in it. I can't see it. looks like it's been lying in the newspaper. But there's also there's a baby's eye chair in the corner. Oh, we're going to have to get up there, aren't we? 
Well, could you just imagine just stood here? Insane. If there's anybody here with me, can you show yourself in this mirror right next to me? I like that room, I can't go in there. I walked there, I got butterflies mostly with that, it didn't feel nice. If I turn this light down a little bit more, do you want to come forward? Very, very, very cold. It's not nice, is it? No. What was that? Could you move one of these doors? That's me now. But I felt like something pushed back on it. Make the presence spell to us by sliding one of the doors across. Strange, strange place the minute you come in. Upside down cross. Yeah. We were getting a weird feeling the minute we come in. Yeah. What's that say? Aliens exist. <laughs> Maybe they do. See, I get that weird feeling every single time I come in this room. Yeah. I've got a butterflies. Yeah. I got, I've got a whole feeling. She said, I can't even go in that room. Well, that's not what you think in the kitchen, then. I've been in the kitchen, it don't feel nice. Yeah, I did turn. I, walked through. I pulled the knives out and put them on the side. I have turned them around as well, by the way. Have so you? I have turned them around. So right, okay. They come off, so if anyone knows that I've done that. Yeah. Just, just fold it this way, brothers, and uh, that's right. I do not like the feeling in there. No. No. Here we go. Right, well, so they go that way. I'm yeah. going to nip back downstairs. No basement. Back into the kitchen. Chris did say he turned the knives around, so we know nothing's happened. But just look at this. You just imagine being up in bed, made in all the banging and smashing and crashing, coming downstairs, and all the cupboard doors are opening, shutting, slamming. Plates are flying all over the place in here. You can see it all on the floor, and apparently that is what it's from, from that night. And the family just packed up and fled. A lot of these places, at first, you could say, oh, maybe it's local kids coming in, but there's no like, holes in the walls, there's no, no graffiti it's anywhere. Graffiti, it? It's just... Do you know what? I'm getting a tingly feeling through my fingers stood here. No. So what we've got out now, we've got the, the lanterns, which yep. they act like K2 devices, don't they? That's exactly how they are. Melometer. Melometer. Now what's this device you've got out, Chris? Uh, the aftercom. Those. Them. Yeah. How many is it them? Who are you referring to, them? We've heard there's a violent poltergeist that resides here. Shh. I heard something then. Like talking? Yeah. yeah. Like whispering? Yeah. I heard that. No, sir, it's like come yeah. from out here. Eh? No, I heard it. The problem is with my hearing, my hearing is really badly. <laughs> Excuse the language, sorry Mom. Yeah, that's fine. Really quiet, really high frequency, it sounds like people are shouting. Yeah. I can be stood talking to someone like this and not hear a word to say. Is that your voice that we heard a minute ago? Sorry. Sorry you heard that. I heard that. Yeah. That's a hell. I was I I looking I straight over and listening then. That was a mess. Wait, see, I, I feel so uneasy stood so at this I, doorway. I was still here a minute ago, Moxley. I mean, back just felt like it was burning. I come in, I was divering, proper shaking, and just then my back felt like it was divering. And Chris was knocked behind him on window. Now that's impossible. Was it on the glass, the knock? Because that's interesting. Because if it's a knock on the glass, yeah, it's definitely on the glass. So there's no way. 
Exactly. All the windows, as you, as you can They've see. They've got boards on. Board, yeah. So I turned around straight away, didn't I? Bro? Yeah. I thought, what the hell? Are you the person we're speaking to that scared the young family out of this house? Are you trapped in this house with the violent poltergeist and that's why you're asking for help to get go? Now that would make perfect sense. Can you see if you can set some of these devices up in this room for us, please? No sorts behind you, Moxley. Like. Hmm? Maybe no sorts behind you. May I just feel very uneasy, just stood there. Yeah, I come down, I come through, and his curtain was like that. He was moving like that, so I pulled it back for have a look. There's a vestibule in there, it's all boarded up. Yeah. There's no, so there's no breeze. There's no draft coming through letterbox or anything like that. It's an old building. Well, I'm getting a splitting headache, so there. I just don't I feel really uneasy, mate. I really don't feel good at all in here. Definitely very uneasy. I'll tell you what I'm like, and it worries me when I feel like this. Last time I was like this, we were at uh, one in Wales, hmm. where you have to enter the path with the car there and everything. Yeah, yeah. And I heard, I went into the room to the right, I heard a bang behind me. I run out, I asked Chris what I was like, I was literally white as a ghost. So I said, right, no problem. I'll take the camera, I'll go back in. I've got my camera pointing down, literally like that, so you can see my feet. So I'm really sorry if you startled me. If you can do it, do it again. Bang, straight away. And I even come out and say, he's done it again. And I sent Chris the footage over with that particular bit. <laughs> I don't know why, I was drawn to the mirror. I don't know why that, the mirror's there. But that's why I kept looking at it. <laughs> them. Them. Yeah, that, them. Them. I couldn't make out whether it was them or whether it were yeah. After you just said, can you show yourself in the mirror? It was one of the two. Can you show yourself in the mirror next to me? No I'll go upstairs and try this. If you're here, are you in this room? If you are, come and stand next to me. when I come in this room. I just feel so uneasy here. If you can see me, come and stand with me. Just knives all over the place in here. Quite it's been reported that you scared the family out of this house. If you are here, if you don't want us here, do something for us. Make a bang. Knock this device out of my hand. Come and do it. No? Okay. So yeah, on the drive up here, I was actually in the back of the car with Chris talking to him. And I did say, if it's a poltergeist, then your K2s are probably going to be your best option. That's why he's brought all the lantern ones with him but communicating 
through spirit boxes and stuff like that. Are you actually going to get anything through via that? Or is it just going to be more feeling and like possibly being poked, pushed? Well, you know what I mean. It's really just a strange feeling, an overwhelming, like, I can't put my finger on it. It just feels so overwhelming. I can feel him, get the sense like somebody stood right in the doorway, just here behind me. Can you stand in that doorway? My back is going icy cold. Are you here? Look at that. That was a bit of an awkward position. My God. My back is icy, icy cold. I'm freezing. Can you knock on something for me? Give me an indication that you're here, that I'm not just talking to myself. Can you tell me what happened? It's so cold up here. Zero readings. I've been in that room for a good 15 minutes now, so I'm going to go meet back up with the others downstairs. Apart from feeling icy cold and just like the presence right behind me, not getting anything on K2. It's like a lingering feeling like any moment something could happen. They've got the EM pumps and that out downstairs, so I'm going to go meet back up with them, see what's going on. I'm back downstairs now, look at this. Next to nothing, stood up in the back room. It's like going icy, icy cold, and they're feeling like somebody's just lingering behind you. Yeah. Nothing yeah. on, hear us. Nothing on the K2, but then it just went so cold, you just see breath. Can you just do me a favour? <laughs> yeah. So you've had a walk round and you've got a feel of how it feels every Yeah. Just come in this kitchen now. Yeah. Just tell me how you feel. Yeah. That That's what that said. Right, for me, in here, it's a lot warmer now. It's a different it feeling. Thank you. It feels, oh, it yeah. feels more calm. Yeah. Than it's, oh, how how weird is that? Too. We put two EM pumps in yeah. here, and before I was like, oh, oh, butterflies, I need to get out. I just, I could, no problem. I'm not saying the balls are that big, but I could quite happily sit here and do a challenge on my own. Yeah. With it feeling as it does now. Yeah, but don't forget. It is, it's, 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 it's different. It, it feels warmer in here. Yeah. Upstairs, it's icy cold, or oh, it was for me. To the you point, it felt like, feel like something drunk. right behind me, and it was just watching what I was doing. Nothing on the K2. Wow. But it was just more of a feeling and yeah. like that dreadful, like something could happen at any moment. But the REM pod just got sucked in the other room. So it's going on. There we go. There's something going on. Oh, what's going on? What's the going REM down? Yes. What oh. went on red as well? As we're talking about that. Wow. Funny how I mentioned it, now it feels eerie in here. There's something in here. Whoa, I've got, feels like someone's stuck behind me on my shoulder, so it should touch let's, me. Let's just tread carefully in case whatever it is it's trying to play divide and conquer with us. Yeah. Split us all up. Paste. Paste? Yeah. Was it paste or was it hair? Paste. I don't like uh, paste. Oh. <coughs> Taste. 
taste. What are you saying? Is it the taste of things to come? Or is it going to get worse? Could you touch the meter again? I'm getting an unsettling feeling in there. Yeah, very mm. unsettling feeling. I'm getting a very unsettling, like, I feel. How do you feel? Like something's behind me. I'm feeling like dread. I don't feel like, like I feel tense. It's like a dreadful feeling. Walking down somewhere really dark. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And there's someone behind me. I've never yeah. seen that. Yeah. Look and at stop. And they stop. No meter. Oh, that. Why is it not making a noise? I've never ever seen it do that. It's being manipulated. Or it's being dragged. <laughs> One or the other. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's almost like it's sucking, it's zapping the battery life out of it. Yeah. Well, we could be in for a very interesting night here. That after con, just so we don't give it any ag. <laughs> Uh, we'll put TM in here. Right, wait. There was two of us. I was killed. And it's just come through now. On here, I was killed. Look at that. I was killed. There's two of us. I was killed. He killed. Wait, hang on. Video Robinson, Anna, hear us, Earl, taste. He killed, there's two of us, Earl and Anna. So there's two people there, Earl and Anna. And, got and I was killed. And also he killed. Okay. It was conjured. It was conjured. That is a full sentence coming through. Could you touch that now, me and now? Obviously you drained the battery now, that was a fresh battery put in today. I heard that. So, it was a so scream. Like a girl scream. It felt like it was in... It definitely sounded like it came up from upstairs. Okay. There's nobody else here mate, there's just us. Yeah. Right, I'll come with you, so don't go alone. I heard something. Definitely. Is there someone here? There's someone that wants to come and speak to us. I'm hearing noises, like very light ticking noises. Can you tell me where you are? Direct me to you. Shaz, did that say mummy? Yeah. And then it said you look the same. Right, put it, put two and two together there. People are coming. Yeah, but that just said, mum it, and then it said, you look the same. Let's have a conversation with you, missus. It's having a conversation with Shaz. Yeah. Mum it, you look the same. You look the same as my mum it. So there could be a connection between both of them. Yeah, so maybe Shaz needs to talk out to him. Yeah. But I'll have to be careful because what if it's something trying to... Manipulate, yeah. If that woman is here, you make that scream again. There was definitely something, mate. I heard it. Without a doubt. I need to go check up here. Yeah. <clears throat> go up there, yeah. I'll try to. Yeah. Careful, bro. I'm talking about what's right about that luggage, does the thing. Mate, something not right about up here at all. 
There's actually another floor up there. Yeah. So what? Wait! Jesus Christ! Wow, what happened? Mate, something just, literally something just touched the top of my hat. It done that. Wow. Oh, I've got icy cold. Yeah. Well, I've just felt right. like... I just went up there. Yeah. Looking around and it felt like something went... Yeah. On the top of my hat. What did I say to you when I put my head up there? Mate, I almost fucking... Are you ready for a crazy one? I've just felt like someone runs past me. I need you to do me another favour, Mark Steve. Go on. Go in the kitchen now. Yeah. Whoa. That, was a that wasn't there. you. No. That was, that was in the room. Hello? I, I need to go up there. I need to go up there in a minute. It was like, it was just like, that's what I, f I felt yeah. it, I felt it lift up. And then for that split second where you hesitate, like, did that just happen? Yeah. And it's like, yeah, that just happened. I need to get back down. I'm just scaring you. you know yeah, just trying to scare. Yeah. You know Maybe just know. trying to scare you out so you don't it's go up there. Fucking freezing cold draft time. Yeah. Really badly. It's just horrible. Do me a favour. Go in the kitchen now, mate. Alright, let's go try this kitchen at it. One more time, then we'll go. Twin, no, just all you do is walk in. Right, okay. That's it. Right, okay. let's do this. If you want to go up there, right? I'll uh, I'm tall with you on the door. Yeah. It's just something drawing me up there. I can't walk in that room. Did you not hear that then? I heard something, but. What was that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that then? Yeah. Check the no, knife. Well. What did I just say to you? Yeah, we just, just heard the same thing. thing down here. But I then we heard something moving. Felt like someone run past me. I just want you. I just want Moxley to go in the kitchen now, and I want you to do it. What? Me? What is that? A smell? Never mind. It's the colder. Smell. All I've done is take the end pumps out and I'm back to butterfly. I'm, I'm, I'm colder again. again. Instantly colder. There was a bang from in there, like something yeah. fell like. I don't know. Where's those knives? Are there? Those knives are in the same there. place. Knives are still there. Yeah. But it was the atmosphere. All I've done is turn the end pumps up. It's like, it's like someone blowing when. Yeah, we yeah. heard it and then. I said to you, you did it. Three seconds later, like, you said it. I said, did you not, did you hear that, like, like, it's, uh, Campbell validated it, brother. Yeah. As I come out, when I was coming to turn the end pumps off, just a cold gust happened, like, someone had literally... I'm getting through, a man. real bad cold breeze behind me again, like, my back is icy yeah. cold. Yeah. Feel it here on my hand, mate. It's horrible, mate. I've got gloves on and I, my hands are cold. Well, crazy thing is, it's on the it's left like hand. literally like storming with us. It it's is. It's getting us to go up places, run around. Yeah. Using energy. Honestly. Well, it's not that, but we're dividing contracts. Yeah. Kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. We have to go up into that attic. Just do it. We have to do it. Yeah. You know what puts me off up here? The big knife just sat here on the side. Is though? Yeah. <sighs> Mate, something insane don't come up here. Eh? Getting a really bad anxiety feeling. I can't bottle it now, Moxley. Your balls are bigger than mine, mate. <laughs> Don't stand under this axe, that's because if I'm coming down, I'm coming down fucking fast. Such a strange feeling. Feels horrible for you, doesn't it? Just something. Yeah. I don't know what it is. No, if I'm honest, yeah, Thursday the latter catch that's in the other room now. Yeah. But look how odd it is. It feels horrible in your mate. I feel like I'm being watched. Yeah. 
and I'm getting jaw ache, I'm getting jaw, I'm getting a pain in my jaw. This is what I was drew to. Look at them, there's more knives here. That knife isn't... <laughs> I want to say, looking at the shit in that box, that knife's not been there long, brother. It's clean. Few yes, look at the one behind you. I know. It's like, is that a bed? It looks like a, yeah, it's an old dead bed. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, and then that bed screws to it, but it's small. It looks like, it looks like a baby's bed. And then you've got the baby chair there. Yeah. I'm getting a weird taste in my mouth. I'm trying to, you know, what's been going on here? Actually, why would you? Maybe there's a bricked up room there. Well, there's, if you look through that one, there's another attic there, but there's no hatch for it. That's totally booked up. Is that not a chimney breast though? No. No, that's, if you're watching now, now Moxley, just take the lights out a bit a minute. Oh. You see my torch light there? Ah, it's booked up here as well. Can you not see torch light? Yeah, I can see it through the wall, but it's booked up. But the weird thing is there's an attic hatch there, that's bricked up. All that's lag. There's no other attic hatch. No. Oh. So wonder if they've been hiding there. something. It's possible, isn't it? And then yeah. somebody's broke it open. You hear of it where they Yeah. Is there any like thing carved into the walls? Could be on the inside though, couldn't it? There, something's happened, and I know it's far fetched, but no. But you look at it, that you would think is designed. The brick wall there is designed to hold the apex of the roof up. Yeah. But what puzzles me is why is there no attic catching that side? Why is it not boarded? Yeah. Why just board this bit of attic? If you're going to use it for storage, you're going to use it for storage. And then on the other hand, yeah. why nail pieces of cardboard up with wood? I mean, fair enough if you were using it as a room to keep a draft out. Yeah, I get that, but. Then you've got the odd window there. Yeah. The baby chair or something behind, underneath that carpet. This is so odd. It's a mirror. Oh, I didn't even notice that mirror. Paddy is wearing Nick's jumper. Eh? Paddy is wearing Nick's jumper. On a stick of that. Because hmm. I thought it would be a dart. I thought you were like a fucking tombstone or something. <laughs> Sounds crazy, but. Eh? Hey, you never know. You don't know how people's minds work. You know, someone's passed away in the family and. Yeah. I still don't feel right up here. And I've got a weird pressure on my head. Is there anyone up here with us? If there's anyone in this space with us, can you make your presence known? being a fork outside the bathroom? No. There's a fork. There's a fork there just outside the bathroom. Oh yeah? No, I'd have seen that. Oh, you would have thought you'd have seen it. Well, I would have thought without that as we sat, we'd have at least stood on it. Yeah. I need to get back down from here. <laughs> it's just... You've, uh, you've that... walked onto this one, pal. Yeah. Not 
going down there in darkness, mate. That's why I got my torch. It's like, no, I'm not coming up here in the darkness. Here we go. Whoa, whoa! What the fuck was that? Mate, honestly, I just felt like somebody's right. Grab these. I feel like something's up here with me. I've just heard, I heard a noise up there. That's why I said, what's that? I'm going to have to go in the darkness as well in a second. Mate, I'm getting the feeling like something's behind me. Yeah, grab that. Get down here. Come mostly. Mate, fast. Oh, you need to get down out of there, Moxler. Jesus Christ, I feel like something's gonna grab me, mate. Yeah. Oh. Make sure you review your footage, though. Mate, As you were coming something. down an orb. Caught it on your camera. An orb? An orb. Just literally, as you were coming down, where you went, well, right over the top of you. And I felt Just like something it. was like. Yeah? Oh. Crazy one is for me, Moxley. You think about where that wall is, you see? And then so you've it got is. all these attic space. No attic hatch. No. No attic hatch. The only other attic hatch you have is there, which we've just looped down. Yeah. But this is from up there. Bit where the cardboard is. Yeah. When you got started climbing down, as soon as you started climbing down, I felt like there was just this big heavy presence coming from that corner, coming over. And that's why it was like, I need to get down, I need to get down. I've not seen you get anxious like that before, Mox. Mate, seriously. I've seen you confess, I, 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 I could felt, tell your demeanor yeah. and everything changed. It was like, I need out now. Yeah. I think there's something nasty here. I think it's residing up in that attic at the minute. I've got I wonder idea. if I wonder if the family who lived here, who had to rush and move out, was doing some sort of renovation up in that attic. <laughs> pulled the brick out. I know it's only a theatre. It's disturbed something. And then it's disturbed something and it's just all went off. Yeah. And they've had to move out. And it just resides back up there until somebody else comes along in That's the because they don't like change. No. And that's it, it would have pissed them right what off. What does that say then? Bertram. Bertram. What the hell does what that mean? Bertram mean? And before that it said I was, I was on. Please don't stop. Wow. <laughs> Shh. It's the meaning of Bertram. <laughs> A male given name from generic words meaning bright and raven. Bright and raven? Mm. Now, what's a bright and raven? That's, that's intriguing. <coughs> what, well, I've never <coughs> ever heard that word in my life. No, I've never. It's a name. Is it a name? Oh, Bertram, name. Bertram is both a generic given name and a surname from Bert, bright, and harm, raven. Ah, that right, I've got, yeah. Bertram family history. You're respectful. Thank you, we try to be. <coughs> right. How do you feel if I go in there, get the knives and bring them in here and ask them whatever's there to move them? Yeah, absolutely. Are you all right with that, Gino? Yeah, no problem. Yeah? Right. <laughs> what is the worst that could happen? <laughs> Approach. 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 <coughs> oh. <laughs> Who, which one of us are you approaching? Right. A man here. A man here. Honestly, that's the feel. That's the presence I'm getting. Is like a male, a male. like a dominant male. Proper life. Big guy. Yeah, like, that's what it was. That's really what it felt up. like up in the attic, mate. It felt like a big, yeah. massive guy was behind me. Yeah. All right, I'll go get these knives. Let's see something a bit different. There's a port guy there. 
literally going to be passing a pork geist a knife I'm smiling because I'm nervous three knives right if it was you that did scare this family out of this house and you're still here and you're still angry or whatever Slam all these cupboard doors open and shut for me. Come and join us in the living room. Show us how strong you are by moving these knives. Let's try one more thing. You know what a mirror does? Yes. The portal, yeah? Yeah. Let's go grab a mirror. Okay. What's that? Is that what I just said? It, she screams. Help us with this, mate. It's a heavy mirror, this. Is it? Give you a laugh She right screams. Yeah. And you just got that coming through as well. A mirror and she screams. Right, put the mirror against the radiator. Yeah. Right, so literally, yeah. if there is a portgeist here, we've literally just give a portgeist three knives. Pretty much everything it needs for an injury, really. And a mirror. Come and show us how strong you are. Right, well, we've gone this far. Yeah. Give it some energy. Yeah. Move the knives. Chuck the knives around the room. You've got everything you need there now. You've got a saucer <coughs> here. You've got a mirror and you've got your knives. My voice is heard. Oh. My voice is heard. Yeah, you. Heard. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> that was her. a creepy her. 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 Honestly. My throat is so dry in air. Can you move them knives? Can you see us? Can you see what we're doing? They come. They come. They come. Are you going to come through the mirror? Yes. yes. If you're going to pass through that mirror, can you push one of those knives over? Uh -huh. Flick one over for us. Move the middle one if you can. Indeed. Indeed. I don't think you've got enough energy to do it. What, what is that noise? It's like something's dropped, taking energy from it. Such a bad feeling now. Oh yeah. How are you? Yeah. I'm feeling the same. It's us. I'm feeling like it's time to leave. I know. <laughs> so I, 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 I want to get out of here. Do you want us to leave? Come on, scare us out. No. No, Chris, shut up. <laughs> no, I just got like um, metallic taste in my mouth then. Evil spirits can cause that. <laughs> Whoa, Did you see lantern. that then? The lantern, lantern. changed colour then. Like a quick flash. Are you happy that we've moved this mirror into this room? Choice. Choice. No. Definitely said no. So you're not happy that we've moved this mirror into this, into this room? Fire, do, 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 do,
Me, I'm getting a real bad chest pain. I keep getting it really bad. I'll be honest, I think I feel like I need to get out of here, you know. Jimmy, are you there? Yes. You yes. were there before. Yeah, you were. <coughs> so it's got to be through, Jimmy. I'm not getting a nice feeling. Are you the one who's the big yeah, angry no. male? Is that your name? Right, the, funny, the funny thing you say there about yeah. feeling like somebody's watching you from the banners. Did you hear that bang? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that bang bang. That was yeah, on the did. glass, wasn't it? I'm not too sure. It, it, I felt it. Yeah, you two. But going back to the banister for a second, yeah. I was doing my battery change, my bag's in the hallway there. And it was like something was I, I had to keep looking up because I thought somebody was looking down at me. Yeah, I just feel like where the banister is, where we turn to the corner of one set to the other. Yeah. I feel like there's someone just watching through the banister there. Yeah. I've literally just sat here and, apart from the occasional move, I've been watching that. Yeah. Okay, right. I'm going to call it a night on this one. They're just finishing up inside. Don't forget, go check out the channel. We'll leave a link in the description for it. I had to get out, I had to get some fresh air. My chest was just feeling so tired. I've been out here a good five minutes now, just sitting down, getting some fresh air. I just feel like something affected me really bad, badly affected me. And it was ever since the attic, going up into the attic, there was just a massive presence behind me. Let me know what you thought of it. Would you like us to come back and try another investigation at a later date? Oh, try some different methods. I'm still catching my breath. I really am still catching my breath. And this place, this place is something else. Again, the name it was given, the Paul Geist House. It definitely lives up to its reputation. If you have enjoyed this one, remember, smash that like button, subscribe and turn on post notifications if you are new around there. Go check out all my social media links, they are down there in the description, as well as everybody else's, I know I've already said it. But yeah, I'm gonna call it a night on this one. I don't think I can go back in tonight, so I will catch you all on the next.